it's Leggy in the house, yo, with another Leggy video, and here we go, oh, it's Leggy in the house, yo. Yo, what's up everybody, it's Leggy in the house, and I got some carnival gameplay for you using the intervention, one of the more commonly used snipers in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, um, first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. Or actually, I'm going to say thanks to the Legit Gaming Union for allowing, uh, like, lesser known people to put gameplays up and all this stuff on their channel. It's, that's awesome that they're doing that. Thanks, Gumby. Play with you a lot. Um, just, yeah, give you my thanks. So, I want to introduce myself. My name's, the name's Leggy. Say it like that. Um, that's my channel name. And I, I love Call of Duty, but not so much recently. I mean, with all the with all the flaws in it, it's gotten to be a lesser fun game. But, I mean, there's so many games out there that are fun. I've gotten into Blacklight Tango Down, which, you, which you'll see me uh, put on my channel. But uh, what I normally put on my channel is montages and commentaries and stuff like that. All the good stuff, so if you want to see that. Hopefully you guys are interested in that. Um, to tell you why I make random shots is, or shoot randomly sometimes, is because of my montages. I go I shoot randomly just to get some lucky shots, maybe to put in my montage. So don't think I'm some crazy, some weird, crazy guy shooting at nothing for no reason. That's the reason why. And a little bit more about myself. I s eat cereal with a fork, not a spoon. I love board games like Monopoly, sports. Uh, I hate bees. But Monopoly is my favorite board game. Even though I'm horrible at it. I'm admitting, yes, I'm horrible at Monopoly. I don't know why. To be honest, I don't think it takes an amazing amount of skill. I think it's about luck in the die roll. So I mean, I don't know why I can't win at Monopoly. I have such a hard time winning. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or secrets about Monopoly that you'd love to share with me, go ahead and leave a comment and tell me because I need some big major help at Monopoly because I, I can never win. I played like 30 games in the last three days or so. Yeah, I've been playing most of Monopoly in my, in my spare time. But I've only won like three out of 30 of them. So, I mean, I need some help with that because I'm one of those people that just loves to win. I hate losing, even though we do lose on this game. But I thought it was entertaining gameplay, running around with uh, my sniper intervention. Because you don't, you don't really see too many people get entertaining, not as much, not dying too many uh, times gameplay with a sniper in Modern Warfare 2. Cause there's just so many guys in corners now and with commando it's hard to shoot and be accurate enough to hit them without getting shot first so that's why I have a pretty good score here it's all entertainment pretty much um, but that's why I chose this one this gameplay I I like to think of myself more as a sniper than an, uh, a rifleman I don't I don't use the assault rifles too much if anything I use the secondaries like like a Kimbo Rafikas but those are also to get some montage clips I like getting like six man sprays with those things and so powerful those are my little babies the Kimbo Rafikas and uh, the sniper those are just my two favorite guns to use uh, but I'm using magnums here, akimbo magnums, just because that's probably the best thing to put on your sniper class. Is uh, is what do they call it? Not machine. Is a uh, handguns because you whip them out so much quicker than any other secondary. I mean, out of the shotguns, shotguns come out probably the slowest. The not even the launchers because those don't even, I don't even count those as secondary. Those are more for air support to me. Um. But, I mean, the the shotguns come out so slow, and the machine pistols come out, like, in the middle of them, but handguns by far come out the quickest. So that's what, I think it's all about the timing, and just how 
how quick you can whip it out after you get that hit marker. <laughs> That's the other thing is hit marker. Oh my goodness, you'll see me get so many hit markers in this game. It's just unbelievable. But uh and sometimes they even cost me my death, but I'll go into that a little bit later. Right now I just wanna since here's a tip moment I could give you is on this map, it's more of a newer map, so not too many people know too much about it or all the hiding spots and all the good spots to be. But uh, I realized that that one roller coaster up top where I was just chilling up at, at top is a really good spot to take control of and just keep moving around up there. Because first of all, you got your height advantage. You can pretty much see the whole map. And height advantage, first of all, is is important to win 1v1 battles. Pretty much, it's an example is like on Rust. You have the very top of Rust. You get you get annoyed at people that will be up there because it's harder to kill them and they'll just keep shooting at you before you can shoot at them. So I mean, height advantage is important in this game. It's so it makes you so much more powerful. And uh, that roller coaster spot is just like the spot on Rust. I mean. Nobody looks up there. They just people remain to look around left and right and straight. They don't think to look up as much as as much as they should. Uh, so that's a good spot to just you know take control of. You can see the whole map. So just want to give you that little tip. So uh, here I am by the merry-go-round, and pretty soon I'm gonna get this hit marker that cost me my life. So I'm gonna see this guy right there. I'm gonna get a hit marker. And now I'm gonna throw that grenade, it hits the top of the saucer, it doesn't do any good. I see him there again and I'm gonna miss. And now that, that one hit marker just cost me my life because I get shot right here. I get outsmarted, outplayed, and because of that hit marker I die. So that's that's where hit markers come in. I don't think they should be so like every sh other shot shouldn't be a hit marker at least that's how it is for me I get at least like every other shot I get a hit marker it seems like even when I do hit him in the chest I can clearly tell I'm hitting them in the chest or the shoulder I get a hit marker but uh, anyways so here I know the guys in the uh, rocket ship so I'm gonna scoot back and the funny thing is I see this javelin get shot off but I'm not expecting it to come for me. So I take one of my montage shots, I call them, and I miss, <laughs> and the javelin lands right in my face. I hear it coming down, and I start to run, but I'm not quick enough to get around that corner. So now I'm keeping an eye on that rocket ship. I want to go back. I'm a revenge killer. I see another javelin get shot off. I get another hit marker when I clearly shoot right underneath him, so... I don't know how that gets a hit marker. Should go straight through his body and kill him. But I get a hit marker on that one guy, but I end up killing him, so no big deal. Horrible grenade throw. And uh, I'm just checking the area out. I know there's a guy over there, so I want to stay behind cover. Even this little cover right here is enough to probably save my life if a guy were to come out from there. So... Now, see, we're losing. I don't want to die, so I'm not gonna run out because I'm, I, I'm, I really want to win. I got the UAV on. I, I'm a team player in team deathmatch. I always run with UAV. Then I have predator missile and harrier, but I only get one harrier. It doesn't do me too much good. It gets like a kill, I think. But I just want to not camp, but, but stay in the back more so I don't get killed and cost my team the loss. So. And you'll see at the end here, I get robbed to kill. I see this guy over here. <laughs> the game ends right when I shoot at him. What do you guys? Anyways, guys, that was Leggy, and I'm out. Later. Oh, actually, come check out my channel too. Some good montages and all that stuff. Later, guys.